nothing happens, so you push the button again. Oh, right, they have slow tactile response. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna spill it on my nice shirt and my dad. Okay, cool, I got it. Yay! <laughs> Morning, morning. Bird right in front of my face. Yeah, it's it's that time of year. Short sleeves, shorts, sandals at 8.28 in the morning. Yeah. Even, Aaron, even Aaron's 77 in. 77 today? I think today's supposed to be one of the lower 80s. I think this is like 79, 81. That when the guy who works in an air conditioned area is wearing shorts. And they have the little war because apparently Aaron works with a bunch of frigid he was like, well, the night or the, the morning crew comes in and they want to like bump it up because it gets cold overnight. God forbid it gets cold overnight. So they bump it up to 68, the, 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 the thermal unit. <laughs> well, it, when you're heating something, you're not thermostat. using an air conditioner. The thermostat, yes. But to me, it's like you you always use it as the air conditioner. You bump the air conditioner up to 58. And I'm like, what the? Like the night crew comes in and they are, they's already warm throughout the day, so they drop it down to like 58. I'm like, 58? Seriously, during the summer, I'm like running the car down to like 72 inside the car with the air conditioning. And I'm like, oh my God, it's cold. And in the winter, I'm like, I can't even let the car go above 60 inside without like melting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, I mean, I'll, you know, if it's down below 40, I'll definitely turn it on and be like, where is it? 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 Where's the heat? But it gets up to like, 48 to 55 and I'm like okay it feels really good but then it starts hitting that like 62 and above and you're just like I can't breathe it's so hot I'm gonna die and you're just sitting in the car you're not even doing any exercise so it's really funky and I don't understand why the people in your and it's probably the fact that the people that kind of are controlling the thermostat are the ones that are not near vents yeah or the one or they're just like or they just have like no significant amount of metabolism or body fat to uh or no significant metabolism and plenty of body fat. That too, but anyways. I, I thought they fixed our sprinkler, but no, it's still being a fire hose. It happened this morning at like three o'clock. <coughs> I was like, whatever. See you guys here up at the platform. Well, wow, that was weird. The uh, transit police have their canine unit here. I don't know why. I'm a so is that actually transit police or? Yeah, that's what the back of their jacket said. It's a transit police canine unit. Huh, weird. I don't know, can you guys see the puppy down there? I don't want to like zoom in, but yeah, it's a canine unit. I mean, it could just be, I've seen them walk on before and they just like the canine unit stands at one end. And it's probably the fact that the dog is trained, obviously the dog is trained to smell, smell for things, but, and if they smell anything on the max, then. Yeah. Just be, it's like, I hate the fact that it's like, you know, all these dogs are trained to smell pot. Not that it's really hard to smell the damn thing, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And here come July first, I believe we're like legalized. And I know we went. I know that Colorado and Washington went through that problem. Yep. Having to retire the dogs because you can't untrain them. And that they have to train all future dogs not to, even though it's like been written to the core thing for like 20 years. Yeah. Also means you can't get loaner dogs or pain from. Yeah, the that's the pain in the butt. Yeah. But we'll be able to train dogs for future states, so they could already have a. We can we can start up a seed program. Dogs do not grow from seeds. No, what you know what no. I mean? No. When the look on your face was. Seed no, it's just the, just the fact that that could be a business in and of itself. Yeah. You don't need to even. You can just train. They can train extra dogs. Yeah. So that when as the states start legalizing them, you know, and they can use them, but. If you have like 125% of the dogs on your force, yeah, it's a little bit of a thing, but then you could like sell the dogs <laughs> or, you know, have the trainer move. Cause you, you know, you don't want to just sell the dog and be like, oh my God, well I was trained to do this and now my God, now my buddy's gone. Yeah, cause the, the dogs can swap, but the people can't. Like a dog can be trained to have a new owner, but the actual no, actually, that when trains it, with. Well, the thing is, is they train with the person. Yeah pretty intensely and we're talking like this is sometimes years of training yeah. so they have to pretty much go with the person yeah the dog can switch actually it's the people that can switch easier it's right. it's because it's heart-wrenching yeah. it's the people can switch the dogs have much more of a simplistic mind and can't yeah. switch as easily they can but not as easily yeah still trying to figure out what this little extra loop is I don't know yeah. like they've completely plowed the hell out of that yeah it actually looks good mm-hmm I was someone so I saw someone on Twitter 
they said that uh, something about that they feel less safe not less safe they feel less awkward somewhere somewhere actually pretty obscure than they do in a gay bar because of the culture that comes around the nightlife of the gay club and I'm like yeah trust me I get what you mean I feel a lot more okay in being a normal person on a football a good iron football sideline than I do in a gay bar yeah because it's sort of like oh god everyone's so on the sideline nobody's fake you know they're all too beat up and I mean if someone is being fake they're probably not putting enough onto the field you saw me after the buzzards game was, yeah it was the buzzards game I was so into like I was so exhausted and whatnot I was actually ver very vocally hitting on a guy yeah number 22 Here comes your train yep yep well it's 37 we're not taking chances no I'll see you guys later today perhaps I have an interview tomorrow yeah so we're gonna have a weird vlog in the morning because I'm going to have to be driving at the ass crack of dawn. Not the ass crack of dawn. It's getting to summer. Ass crack of dawn is when I wake up. <laughs> I'm going to have to run by the butcher to get one pound. Otherwise, I'll throw everything off. I've been off for a while. And the 20%, they don't even have 15% here, do they? It's always like, it's either $5.99 a pound or $2.97 a pound. And $2.97 a pound is almost like borderline two pounds. There's a pound of 15% right there, but it's a singular pound. Why so go by the butcher? Everything's all hunky-dory with like ridiculously expensive or I mean hell the 10% over at the butchers is still only four now. No, it's $5.99 because I spent because I get five pounds for 20 bucks. So that's $3.99 a pound. No, $4.99 a pound. $3.99 a pound. Duh, what am I thinking? And that's for 15%. This 10% here is two dollars more a pound, which is I believe the 7% at the butcher. I still want to go by there. Kind of out of the way. I don't usually like to buy that with the food stamps, but uh, store trim, which is 20%, and that's $3 a pound. Shit. Well, I just sort of swallowed the pride and I'm paying $7.61 for a pound and a quarter of beef, but it's 10%, so. Hopefully I'll get some more protein out of it. I'll have to make sure that Aaron knows, because there is actually a drastic difference in nutrition between the two. Um, I got naan and bread and Herdez and tortillas are at home and cheese and lettuce. Taco seasoning? Oh, there you are. I picked up apple cider because who knows? Milk, regular bread. I don't have much else to pick up. I'm just sorting my leg out right now. I wanted to go get one of those tanks, but the small is not in stock. I'm thinking I should get a medium anyways. I'll come back later and figure everything out. Ah, desperate times. Desperate measures. See if they have a job center here. All right, well, after three Goodwills, because the first one I went to didn't have a job center, and the second one, well, due to, due to, due to what was it, employment conflicts or something? I don't know what that sign, I can't remember what that sign said. Due to employment conflicts, uh, the job center today, or the, yeah, job connections, at the second one I went to was closed. And I was like, Okay, and so I went to the one that I originally found, long-time viewers, I originally found the shoulder pads I'm currently wearing in games at. That's, that's ironic. No, that's coincidence. Anyways, but I'm having like kind of come down from anxiety right now because I hate dealing with employment people. She was really nice, but that's the thing is she was really nice and she was really rushed and I don't know, I just, even someone strong like me cannot, doesn't even like the job center people. I get so full of anxiety and I just, I was sitting there and I was like stimming all the hell and back. I was rubbing my foot and I was rubbing the back of my neck, but my pinky was stuck in my ear while I was rubbing my neck. It just, I was doing like three different stims at the same time and it was just me and her in the room because I was in the job center thing. And whatever. Why I don't have a job is because literally the act of finding a job causes me panic attacks and anxiety. So I'm going by Taco Bell because I always have a little bit of leftover money. So I'm going by Taco Bell right now and I'm getting my lunch. And I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna edit this video. I will see you guys tomorrow for Thursday. Hopefully, maybe Aaron's job thing thing will pan out. I don't know. I'm just tired of I to feel grilled and stuffed nacho. I need that, that so much right now.